All right, guys, welcome back. We've got another cool video for you guys. So you guys probably recognize this truck. This is our 2022 F-150 owned by Mark Shear there, Shear Performance Machine. And uh, we've got some new stuff going on. So this truck uh, did set the record for NA truck for a short period of time. I think it's been beaten since then, but that's kind of the name of the game. But uh, exciting stuff. So our friends over at Procharger contacted us when they came up with this new design for the 20, 21 and up F-150s. Uh, completely redesigned this kit from the ground up versus the previous generation trucks. Uh, a lot of improvements. And they asked us if we would test it out, put it through its paces, and so that's what we're doing. So we've got the Pro Charger installed. Right now, the guys are working on installing uh, the Innovators West Balancer, and that will be able to allow us to run the crank support the Pro Charger supplies as well. Uh, we're running a P1X Supercharger supplied by Pro Charger. We're also running their eight rib dedicated drive system on it as well. Uh, we've got a set of headers on it, uh, a little bit of exhaust work, and uh, we're on JD Performance fuel system and uh, E85. So truck is just about ready to go. We're gonna work through installing this balancer and, and get the crank support installed. And then we're gonna start making some noise here. So you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of really cool stuff coming up in this video. All right, guys, so after a little bit of work, we did finally get the crank support installed on this truck. Um, so as I mentioned before, this kit was supplied to us from Procharger. Uh, thank you, Procharger. And with the intentions of us developing this kit, providing feedback to them, and also testing this kit and seeing, putting it through its paces, see what it's capable of. Uh, our particular kit was optioned with the P1X Supercharger, which is probably going to be the supercharger that we'll recommend with any of the kits that we spec. Uh, and our kit is also running the eight rib drive. Uh, there would be an option for a six rib drive, which uses the inboard accessory drive, uh, similar to like the Roush or Odin superchargers. Uh, and then the option of eight rib and 10 rib, both the pulley, an external pulley to the front of the crank uh, balancer similar to the previous generation pro charger kits so in that case the crank support is an excellent option to provide a little bit of extra support since we have that larger pulley hanging off the front of the crank snout um, so I said we have the eight rib kit now this is actually the second pro charger truck that we're going to be working on we were lucky enough to uh, be um, given the opportunity to work on our customer's truck, Mike Tillman. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and Mike's truck was actually used by Procharger to develop this kit. So that was the very first 21 and up, one fi 21 and up F-150 to have this kit installed on it. Mike left the truck with us here for a couple of weeks. We did a few extra upgrades for him, and then we did the whole tuning process. So we're not going to repeat all of the process that we already did with Mike's truck on this truck in the interest of saving time. Um, but we did test Mike's truck on the stock supplied 4.65 pulley on 93 octane. We then switched fuels to E85, again, um, both of these with the stock intake manifold. And then on E85, we swapped the stock intake manifold for a GT350 manifold. That modification alone, just swapping the intake manifold, netted us nearly 50 wheel horsepower. So for one of these supercharger kits, it is highly recommended that you also run uh, one of the other intake manifolds, uh, whether it be the Mustang GT manifold or the GT350 manifold. He happened to have the GT350. We are also using the GT350 manifold, but expect very similar results from a Mustang GT manifold as well. Uh, and then finally, we finished Mike's truck with a 4.25 pulley on E85. And we're gonna insert all of the dyno graphs here into this video for you guys so you can see the comparison of the numbers and how it actually turned out. So we already have collected that data, so we're gonna go one step further to start with this truck. So currently we have installed a 4.0 pulley onto the truck. I'm expecting it to make probably somewhere in around uh, 16 to 18 pounds of boost. Um, Keep in mind though, it is summertime right now in Florida. It's well over 90 degrees right now and humidity is through the roof. So these are less than ideal conditions to say the least. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this thing. We're really excited to see what kind of power we can make at it, what kind of results we can get. Uh, along with the Pro Charger kit as well, we've installed a Circle D converter that we had spec specifically for this type of supercharger. And then we have a VAST 3.5 lowering kit and we've paired that with uh, Kelly Aiken's Keltrak suspension shocks, which have done a fantastic job with this truck naturally aspirated, and we suspect that it's gonna do just as well with all the added power as well. So we're gonna get started right now, making a little bit of noise, making a little bit of power, so you guys stay tuned, got some cool stuff coming.
All right, guys, so we just did a couple of pools with the 4.0 mm -hmm. pulley. Uh, everything went really smooth. Uh, truck sounds great, feels great. Um, so we did a couple of little tests here. Uh, I'll explain what we have here in the dynograph as well. So first pull we did, 4.0 pulley uh, with the blower inlet installed onto the inlet of the supercharger. Uh, the design on this particular kit, there's not a whole lot of space uh, in front of the blower inlet. So the inlet design is rather compact and it kind of wraps around to the, to, towards the rear behind the supercharger. Uh, that bend in the uh, in the intake track is going to obviously make a little bit of restriction. It actually flows really, really well. Um, we're actually pretty surprised with the power it make, but we're always searching for more power. So we decided we would do a test with the uh, inlet removed as well. So this is what we have here so far. So 4.0 pulley, GT350 intake manifold, our billet adapters, our JD performance fuel system, and we're on just pump E85. So you'll see here, first pull with the inlet, 782 wheel horsepower. 601 pound feet of torque and then once we remove the inlet we actually spun it just a touch higher as well just to see what it would do 839 just about 840 horsepower 627 pound feet of torque we got our boost curve down here at the bottom you can see our max boost with the inlet 12.3 and we did 15.46 without the inlet but we also spun it a little bit higher so the actual increase in boost is about a pound and a half or so uh, versus with inlet removed versus inlet on. So not a massive, massive difference. Uh, so the inlet does flow very, very well, especially when we're moving a lot of airflow at this power level, but you know, there is a difference there. So in a pure race application, uh, removing that inlet may be a benefit. You absolutely pick up a little bit of power. So it could be a, a positive move there. Uh, so we collaboratively put our heads together and we decided that we're going to step down the pulley once more. Uh, Procharger sent us a 3.7 pulley as well, so we've gone ahead and installed that on the supercharger and we're going to make some pulls on that and see where we land in terms of power. So we're probably reaching the limits of where I would feel comfortable uh, power-wise for one of these Gen 4 engines. Again, as I mentioned earlier, the conditions here are less than ideal. Uh, in, inside here in the dyno cell, it's well over 100 degrees and humidity is around 50%. So it's not great. Uh, but while we're here, we're already strapped down. It takes five minutes to swap the pulley. So we went ahead and swapped it. We're going to see where we land with that. So we're going to get started. All right, guys, so we have finally wrapped up with this monster here. So uh, you might notice that uh, we had a wardrobe change. Well, that's because it's actually the next day. Uh, we kind of got later in the day, and as I'd mentioned before in this video, conditions were not very favorable, and we decided that uh, we were trying to make a pretty decent number. So we were gonna call it a day, come back when we thought the conditions would be a little more favorable, um, and hopefully influence our dyno numbers. And the results, really, really good. So uh, just to recap, uh, we had the 4.0 pulley on previously, we had swapped to the 3.7 and then we called it a night and now we're back here today and we were able to finally finish up the rest of the progress uh, with the 3.7 liter pulley, or excuse me, 3.7 inch pulley. So 3.7 inch pulley on the truck, here's where we landed. 906 wheel horsepower, 677 pound feet of torque, comparing this to the 4.0 pulley, 839 horsepower, 627 pound feet of torque. Uh, Nice increase in boost, we can see through the whole entire curve. And really, um, this has probably turned up a bit too much <laughs> from where we're gonna end up leaving this, but we just kind of wanted to see what the supercharger itself was capable of. When we're doing pulls here on the dyno, while yes, this is very stressful in the engine, yes, this is a lot of power for one of these Gen 4 engines, but here on the dyno where uh, load on the actual engine and the vehicle itself, are a little bit lower than what they would be on the actual street or in the track. Uh, we can kind of take a little more risk uh, without so much risk, if that makes any sense. So we decided we would go ahead and put the party pulley on and see where we would land. Now, eventually we'll probably turn this up even further, uh, but as I've mentioned several times, is that you know with these Gen 4 engines, this is a brand new platform, and while they are very similar to Gen 3 engines, there are some very glaring weak points uh, that is in mostly the VDE system or the cylinder deactivation. Uh, that system in and of itself uh, is inherently weak. Uh, the, the system is designed with a collapsible cam follower or hinged cam follower. And 
Um, I'm of the opinion, as well as several other uh, very knowledgeable engine builders, that the acceleration rate of the valve train could lead to catastrophic damage of, uh, of the valve train because those uh, cam followers could come uncoupled under load, which they're not designed to do. They're designed to uncouple under very light load conditions like cruising on the highway. And should they decouple under this type of load, 900 wheel horsepower, it would probably end catastrophically and it would be a bad day for everyone all around. So we're turned up pretty high right now. So we know what this kit is capable of. We know what the Pro Charger can make on this particular pulley. There's still room to grow. We could even pull it down further. We haven't reached the maximum RPM of the, or, or, or maximum blower speed of, uh, of the P1X supercharger yet. So there's still more to be had. Uh, we just need to make sure that the truck is gonna handle it before we turn it up any further. So this is what we've got. We're gonna back it down one or two steps first. We're gonna get the truck going A to B, making consistent passes. We've got a lot of work to do on the suspension setup. Uh, we've got a converter to kind of dial in and figure out where we wanna set the lockup schedule for that. So there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of variables that come into play when we talk about, hey, we're gonna build a truck and we're gonna go, we're gonna go racing with it. We're gonna go quarter mile or eighth mile racing. So all of these variables have to be accounted for and this is just a small part of the puzzle. So we got the power. Uh, now we've got to take the power and we've got to put it all to the ground. So that'll be the next step. We'll have some more videos coming through that as we go through the process of it. But so far, really, really impressed with the power of the supercharger. Uh, it pairs really, really well with these engines, really well with the 10-speed transmissions. So all in all, uh, really great. Um, great job, Pro Charger. You guys nailed it. This is an incredible kit. We're super happy with it. And so we're really excited to see what kind of results we can get from it next. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a fun one for us, a lot of work, but we have a lot more coming, so stay tuned.